guys welcome back again to another video you guys in expecting so guys in today's video i'll be talking about actually i have a macbook and usually you cannot buy this type of thing i'm not sure so most times i like to leave it open on my this thing it's not easy that's one of my achievements and if you feel like this girl you like to show off you like to show off when you buy your own cover it don't let us see the icon because you cannot buy this type of thing i'm not sure it yeah i actually have a macbook here yeah. for those of you that are old yeah you know the history of this macbook yeah. so even if i'm not gonna use it for business i'm gonna show it off in my video thank you very much for your understanding if you feel like this game is enough when you buy your own just close and cover it thank you so guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about scholarship opportunities in ireland i know that this has been long awaited so i'm going to take you guys through the requirements how to apply and of course i'll be answering your frequently asked questions to questions that i know that you guys will actually have in mind to ask anyways let's dive right into it so now the name of this scholarship is government of ireland international education scholarship in short goi ies why you have to do this one So let's dive right into it. What are the requirements for you to apply for this scholarship? Number one, the first requirement is no, sorry, eligibility criteria. The first eligibility criteria is you might actually get a offer letter for masters or PhD. So there is no BSc, just masters or PhD. Then the next one is course. The next one is and uh, the second eligibility is it has to be a full time masters or PhD. Or masters of PhD. The next one, it can be field. It can be course in any field. It can be any course in any field, but as long as it's either masters level or PhD level, it has to be full time. And then another thing about this requirement is it has to be a one year duration. For example, you know we have some masters that is two years masters, three years master, even PhD. We have two years PhD. So if you are going to be applying for this, make sure the course you're choosing is a one year masters because this scholarship is just for one year and it has to be a, a full-time course as well so another thing like i said you can apply for any course in any field it is not cost limited as long as it is one year it is full-time but Russia, i'll say something about this costing keep watching so how much is this scholarship opportunity how much they will be giving you um two benefits which is 10,000 euros stipend to add to your cost of living and full tuition fee waiver full tuition fee waiver. so that's like a two in one combo the scholarship they give you 10,000 euros to add to your scholarship and then they give you a full time one year tuition fee waiver so when is this starting you are supposed to resume september between september slash october 2024 so who are eligible what are the nationalities eligible for this um what's it called scholarship um if you are non-eu non-eea non-switzerland and non-uk so that means anybody that is not from eu switzerland uk and any of that is actually eligible so if you are african you can apply for this if you are asian you can apply for this as long as you are not anything european or Switzerland and the other under person or nationality that is not eligible for this visa are Russians slash Belarusians. You know, because of the ongoing you know situation of the most organizations, they now ban these two nationalities from there. So if you are from Russian or a Belarusian or you're from EU or any of that, you're not eligible. And then the next one is let's go to requirements. So I've talked about the eligibility for you to be eligible to this. And again, another thing is um, which schools can you apply to? Most schools in Ireland actually participate in this, but then I'll be attaching a screenshot on this video to see the list of schools that is really, really participating in this scholarship. But when I check the schools, University of Limwick, University of Gitte, these schools are the popular schools that international students actually apply to for in Ireland. So what are the requirements that you need to apply for this? You need two references. So they can be academic reference, they can be work reference, they can shall get reference. Nobody's putting limitations to that. Then to be suitable for this role as well, you should have all these extracurricular activities. Not just like your CV should not just have 
or you have BSC biology, you should have other extracurricular activities as well. Maybe a class cap day during your time, maybe a president of something, maybe you have a hobby, maybe you did community service, you know, in your CV, that extra session for extracurricular activities. So, that this is just me saying they are not basing the scholarship based on academic, um, what's that word? Academic benefits, academic eligibility only they are looking out for extracurricular activities as well yeah so another eligibility is um then you now write something like a personal statement just like um why island why are you applying for the scholarship what are your future goals you know those type of things i know in this type of personal statement you have to be skeptical and not to sound selfish that you just want to collect this scholarship just because they are applying it so you will really have to think deep you, you understand mm -hmm. so you write like a personal statement why you chose island why you chose this course why you want them to give you the scholarship what is your plan after this course what is your end time goal and you know all of those things the next requirement is um um okay 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 so which is that thing okay so when is the deadline the deadline is actually march um 13 2024 that is the deadline so now we're actually in today is 31st january so you have like one month plus to actually prepare for this and then another thing is another eligibility that you need is your admission letter so before you apply to this process you have to go to the universities that i'll be attaching on this video mm? are you listening so you will now go and pick a course that has this consensus of one year course, one year full time, and apply to it. So they have to give you offer letter first or condition offer. Shall make sure you get admission letter first before you can apply to this scholarship online. I hope you got me. I hope you get me. And then another thing again is, for example, if you check University of um, Limbrick, right? I mean Limbrick, that. Yeah? Let's say maybe you want to study, let's just say there is like a one-year master course in medicine. It is possible that University of Limbrick will say, no, I cannot give you this course with scholarship. Mm -mm. So in as much as the university is participating in this scholarship, they might not be participating in a particular course. So when you want to apply, when you go through the universities and you can't go through the course that you want, Send an email to the university that you are interested in applying for scholarship for this particular course, this particular scholarship, G-O-I-E-S. Is he eligible for this scholarship? So that it's not be like you just applied for a course, you got admission letter, and then you apply for the scholarship, and then after only for you to wait and then to come back, and say, sorry, you have failed at this time that this particular course is not eligible. So for the fact that you see the name of a university as one of the eligible universities, right, does not mean that all the courses is eligible. Though they've not really specified this course or this course, they say there's no limitation. For example, you can check the University of Gym Week. They can say, okay, hospitality is eligible for scholarship. You can check the University of um got you they say no hospitality is not eligible so any course you're going for make sure you send an email to the school and tell them you want to participate in this scholarship and you want to confirm if this particular master's course is eligible for tuition fee waiver so when they say it's eligible then you fulfill the criteria of admission and all of that then when you get your admission letter before you now proceed to actually apply for this scholarship i hope you guys understand that so another thing is so now the deadline after they about the deadline and then when you actually get a response if you're actually successful in this process is around may or june 2024 so now the to the frequently asked questions some people want to ask can you go with family no this is like a single scholarship thing the government of ireland is not sponsoring family at the moment even if you have money to sponsor your family I don't know. I don't know about that one, but they specifically said they are not sponsoring family. They are just sponsoring single applicants. But maybe if you have money to sponsor your family to come, oh, I don't know. You can specially mail them, but 
with the way I read it from their distance, they are just is like is in a way of even telling that they just want single applicants and no fan. But you can try and send them an email and tender your case to them that you have money to see your family through. You want them to come with you, you know, it's, it's about communication. But I'm just telling you the general requirement, they can give an exception for you. Mm -hmm. So, because the people think, oh, why are you even coming on, on scholarship and you yeah, have carry a family? That means you have money. That's another reason to say, oh, you don't deserve it because you have money. Yeah, because that's how they will feel. Oh, you have many to bring family and you apply for scholarships to give it to somebody that does not actually have the money. So I'm not sure you should bring family to at this time. So another thing is you will still have to prepare for your cost of living. Like I've told you how much the benefit of the scholarship, you still have to prepare for your cost of living. For example, let's say the cost of living is 15,000 euros in a year. You know how much they are giving you from the scholarship. Then the remaining one has to be in your account. <laughs> So the next one is um this scholarship is just valid for just one year only just one year after one year that is it it's over it is not renewable it is not extendable and that's it so any course you're going for make sure it's a course that will make you like at least be able to stay back in ireland and not just like just finish and just come back something like that so another one is um does this scholarship apply to northern Ireland? no it does not apply to northern Ireland. it's just highland go 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 then that question i want to ask is um you can like i said to apply you need your admission letter from ireland so from any of this island school but your admission letter might take time before you send your transcript and all of that so you can start your online application for this scholarship Depending when you will get your admission letter, but make sure that before you submit the scholarship, gang, 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 that you have your admission letter. If you submit the scholarship application without your admission letter, just know that automatic denial. Because the way they used to give you the admission is them see your admission letter. So you can start your scholarship preparation like drafting your CV, um, writing your personal statement and you can be doing other things that they require getting your reference you know other things while waiting for your admission letter so don't use all the more and say no i was waiting for my admission letter i was waiting for my admission no start other process as well so and that's why i heard even if it is conditional offer letter that they gave you you can use it to apply they can they accept conditional letter of admission letter or full admission just make sure you collect an offer from this school and use that one and apply but make sure you apply don't just send without that then another thing is after you submit the no edit once you click submit you cannot see it so guys that brings us to the end of today's video and why in this video i've attached some images in the picture that can enable you to actually search for this on google but if i actually need the direct link to this scholarship you can send me a mail you can send me a dm if i have to send it to you personally you pay me one thousand naira to send the link i know you to attach um link to my description box because if you check all my description box you see that all of them if you check my descri description box of all my videos you notice that all of them have the same pattern of same words so there's no way if i add the um what's it called the link to my video now and I update my description box. Everything is going to clear in future. So I don't even bother. I don't used to add link to my video. I just had my own personal stops. How to contact me? How much I charge for consultation? So you can use this information and search it out on Google. But if you need a direct link to this website on Google, because there are so many websites looking for that, right? Bring your money, money. Hey, go, hey, go. One thousand era. To send you the link and if you feel like oh why can't you kill me come i also use data to go and look for it yes what part of there just to send you the link and if you feel like you cannot pay for it i've told you all the information that you need to go and find it on google and know how to apply so guys i'll be guys in the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now